Let us be your key to success. LaborLink for all your staffing needs. More than half a dozen county roads closing their roads for good tonight, declaring states of emergency. I'm Matt Piper. We'll tell you what those counties are. We'll also be live with Indiana State Police. Plus, we'll hear from Duke Energy about its latest efforts to get power restored to some parts of the valley that are in the dark. The Prime Edition starts now. Working for the Wabash Valley. Your first choice for news at 10. WFXW Prime Edition starts now. Thanks for joining us for the WFXW Prime Edition. I'm Dana Winkleplek. Patrick Fazio has the night off. Well, snow, rain, freezing rain, sleet, and strong winds have pelted the Wabash Valley since last night. Is the end of this wretched weather in sight? Let's head over to Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker for that answer. For the most part, yes, and when I say that, I'm talking about the precipitation now is kind of tapering off or we don't have any of the heavier precipitation going on, but the wind and the cold is going to stay with us through the bulk of the night. I want to show you, first of all, what it looks like live through the eye of our Sycamore Chevy cam. You're looking to the west, obviously, out of Terre Haute. You can kind of see, obviously, the snow and the ice on the ground. What you really don't see real well on this, though, is the fact that the wind is blowing some of that snow around, especially when you get into the outlying areas, so obviously travel tonight would not be recommended being very, very careful if you have to make a travel somewhere, especially getting out into the outlying areas. Next up, we'll show you what it looks like with our first financial storm tracker. And you're going to see we still have areas of snow. Now, this is all transitioned into snow now. All of this moving off to the northeast, so it is now dissipating back off to the west a little bit. Most of the accumulating snow over could see a little bit more of accumulation, but nothing big. Big story now, some wind causing blowing and drifting and wind chills dropping below zero. We'll talk about just how cold it's going to get behind the storm system. That's coming up a little bit later in the newscast. Dana? All right. Thanks so much, Jesse. And now let's head out to WFXW's Matt Piper, who has more from state police. Matt? Thanks, Jess and Dana. Well, let's just uh, tell you right now, all roads in Vermilion County, Vigo County, Fountain County, Owen County, Greene County, Sullivan County, and Clay County, all of those counties have said that all of their roads are closed for tonight. And here in Vigo County, all uh, trucks going around and plowing have stopped plowing for the night. They won't start again until daylight because they're saying it's just too dangerous. Let's talk to a state trooper now to find out more about this. Chad uh, Hilton, Trooper Hilton, thank you very much for being with us. You a little cold? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, uh, earlier today there were reports of about 20 or 30 accidents, slip-offs throughout your five district county and I-70. Any updates as to more accidents? Uh, they've slowed somewhat because the traffic volume has lessened as the night's gone on. However, like you were saying, all the county roads, county roads, you know, state roads are still open and the plow trucks are out trying to fight the fight, but uh, they are hazardous at best. It's definitely hard to fight the fight. So, I mean, are, are, are you just asking people to truly stay off the roads? I know they've heard it before, but I'm sure you just want to stress that because we see them going by here. Unless it's an emergency, they really don't need to be out on the county roads tonight at all. And the state highways aren't a lot better. Um, it's really going to have to be an emergency. How about those who, who plan on waking up for work in, in seven or eight hours uh, for the morning commute? Hopefully, uh, obviously, w w what are state police doing in the morning? I don't look for the road condition to improve a lot between now and morning. I, best thing I can tell them is to watch their news stations in the morning and look for a weather update and road conditions. Absolutely. And you guys are at full force all night and tomorrow, I assume? Yes, we are. Chad Hilton, thank you very much. Once again, let's tell you those counties again. There may be more, but these are ones that we've gotten in our newsroom all night. Vermilion County, Vigo County, Fountain County, Owen County, Greene County, Sullivan and Clay Counties. All of those counties, their roads are closed. And again, in Vigo County, all plows have stopped plowing. They will resume in the morning when it is less dangerous, as they say. We're live in Vigo County. I'm Matt Piper. Dana, let's send it back to you. All right, thanks so much, Matt. And to that list, you can add Park County because in the northern counties of the valley, well, things are like a ghost town. In Park County, commissioners closed the courthouse and several businesses closed down as well. The Park County REMC takes care of utilities for six counties. It has extra crews on hand to make sure the customers do not lose power. Sheriff Mike Esslinger and his staff will work with the commissioners and emergency management to keep people informed of the road conditions and problem. Uh, and problems, rather, the sheriff is recommended not, recommending not driving if you do not have to. Well, power crews have been working hard to get the power restored. 
If by Duke Energy, a lot of homes and businesses out. Rick Berger from Duke Energy joins us on the phone with the latest on these power outages throughout the valley. Rick, how many people are without power right now? Hello, Dana. Yes, Rick. Yeah. Thanks for uh, joining us. Basically, we're in pretty good shape here in Terre Haute. We have about 23 people out of a uh, service yet, but we're going to work up to early morning to get those back on. We still have about 25 people working around the clock here till we get all these people back on. And what's been, what's been the biggest cause of these power outages? Is it ice on the lines? Is it, I don't know, just being so cold outside? Well, what's really given us the challenge is with the wind that we had earlier this evening around the 6 to 7 o'clock range. So we had a lot of trees come down in the lines and presented those problems. But uh, the town of Bloomington itself still has 6,000 people out, and we're assisting over there. And also Center Point tonight has some outages over there, and we're going to send a crew over there to help tonight too. All right. And do you expect everyone probably by tomorrow hopefully to have their power restored? Yeah, uh, by mid to early morning, we should have everyone back on, at least in this area we're working on. All I would right. just encourage people to be very safe because the roads are very slick and hazardous out there. All right, Rick, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll talk to you again at thank 11. You. Well, ice caused problems in Brazil, Indiana. Take a look. Trees and branches throughout the city are covered, and City Hall was closed today. Outside the Clay County Courthouse, power lines started to get weighed down due to the ice. Tomorrow, there will be no classes at Clay Community Schools. And the wintry mess continues to cause problems around Indianapolis as well. This video is from Edinburgh, which is just south of Indy. Sleet, snow, and freezing rain hit that area as well. The National Weather Service issued a blizzard warning for areas north of Indianapolis until midnight. In some other news now, firefighters in Terre Haute battled the elements today as they raced to a fire in the 1000 block of 25th Street. A fire began at this house around 10 o'clock this morning. The blaze began in an upstairs room. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but authorities say it began on a bed. The homeowner said her 17-year-old daughter uh, seen some flames on her bed. She don't know how they started or what started it. Uh, she started screaming. That's when the, uh, the mom came in and got everybody out of the house. Six people were in the home at the time, but no one was hurt. A local adult bookstore's federal appeal is over. The gift spot in Clark County, Illinois, has lost its appeal against the city of Marshall. The Seventh Court of Appeals in Chicago upheld a lower court's ruling against the gift spot. The adult store appealed a federal court's ruling last February that allows the city of Marshall to force adult stores to move into redesigned industrial zones. The only other court the gift spot can appeal is to the U.S. Supreme Court. And obviously weather on everyone's mind today and now as we head into the overnight hours as well and we still have some snow showing up in a few places but most of the accumulating snows are over. Some of our northern and northeastern counties might see up to an inch of additional accumulation, but most of that is now tapering off. We're going to take a live look with our Sycamore Chevy Cam looking west out of Terre Haute. It is cold. The wind is drifting some of the snow around. Next thing is the big cold temperatures. We'll talk about how cold it's going to get coming up in just a few minutes. Dana? All right, thanks, Jess. And with all the school closings and being trapped inside, it can be hard to keep those kids entertained. When we come back, we'll share with you some great ideas that will keep your kids busy during these winter months. That's next on the WFXW Prime Edition. Dennis Ming's Sycamore Nissan in Terre Haute is home to the Sycamore 500. That's more than 500 cars for sale every day, including the complete line of new Nissans, each packed with quality, excitement, power, and affordability. That adds up to value. Drive a new Nissan today at Dennis Ming Sycamore Nissan, a mile south of I-70 on U.S. Highway 41, Terre Haute. Complete your next drywall project 33% faster with Rapid Coat from Menards. Rapid Coat joint compound dries faster, shrinks less, and sands easier, allowing you to tape and add a second coat the same day. Four and a half gallons are $10.99. Take care of your birds this winter with 20-pound bags of Songbird Blend or Cardinal's Choice Bird Food. They attract cardinals, songbirds, nuthatches, and chickadees, two for $12. Plus, there's zero payments and no interest till 2008 when you use your big card. Save big money at Menards. If your pet needs it, we've got it. Pet Food Center is more than just dog and cat food. We offer more than 10,000 pet items from fish to fowl. Pet Food Center even has a dog wash. 
All this coupled with low prices and outstanding service. Now you know why at the Pet Food Center we say we've got it. Pet Food Center. That's it, anything you need for your pet, we got it. The Pet Food Center. What's up, chums? I thought we got rid of him. We wanted to. But he's the only one who knows how to fix our computers. Hey, Steve. Dude, I'm on my break. Then my computer crashed. Hey, can you shut my door? Tired of your tech support? Finally, there's a better way. Introducing Staples Easy Tech. Now get Windows Vista at Staples and have our experts install it free. Staples, that was easy. And we are back on the WFXW Prime Edition. With snow days for many tomorrow and likely in the future, it's important for your kids to just have something to do. Our own Lindsay DeWitt spoke with an expert today on how to keep those kids busy. She gives us some tips. Oh, the snow day, a longtime favorite for kids. Daddy! Not as popular with parents. It is a long day and parents aren't used to being with their children all day. Many of you have probably panicked and ran to the video store by now. My super ex-girlfriend and the party is going to be due Wednesday by midnight. The other one won't be until Monday by midnight. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, kids have been in here all day long grabbing kids' movies, five or six movies at a time. But before you resort to grabbing a movie off the shelf, here are a few alternatives from an expert. Gail Gotchling at Indiana State University's Early Childhood Education Center says you can start with arts and crafts. What about making some homemade valentines? And I know that grandparents and other special people love to get those homemade things. Is your child dying to get outside? Try a twist on the traditional snowman. After you make your snowman or whatever creation, fill up a spray bottle with water and food coloring and you can really make it fancy that way by spraying it with different colors. If you want to stay inside, try some things that will help you out. What about getting at some of those cleaning projects that you don't have time to do? Lots of times parents can think of fun ways to do cleaning projects. Um, have your child help you make lunch or dinner or bake. Of course, if all else fails, a trip to the video store isn't a terrible idea, but... I think that that would be maybe the last line of defense and not the first one. Just be sure to pick something for the family. With videographer Dan Arnold, this is Lindsay DeWitt reporting. And we have Jesse Walker who is joining us. And Jesse, I was on 41 a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like a dang thing's been done to it. It's just they're so overwhelmed. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot going on. Really, as you learned with Matt and the state trooper, if you don't have to be out tonight, the best bet's to just to stay yeah. in. And tomorrow morning is not going to be a whole lot better, but at least by tomorrow morning we got daylight. Yeah. That will help us out a little bit. In the meantime, let's talk about this big storm. This thing has been a major winter storm from the plains moving through here tonight and eventually into the New England area for tomorrow. We'll talk about the cold that will follow it, though. That's coming up here in just a couple minutes. This is WFXW Prime Edition, brought to you by Northside Collectibles, buy or sell antiques and estate jewelry. The Chrysler 300, a fuel-efficient 250-horsepower V6 engine, electronic stability program, five-star government frontal crash test rating. And perhaps its most intense characteristic, its striking design. Now get $1,500 cash allowance on Chrysler 300C. Discover America's hottest products at your Chrysler dealer. McDonald's gives you a reason to get up extra early, like getting two sausage McMuffin with egg sandwiches for just three bucks.
as a sweetheart of a boot sale just in time for Valentine's Day. Come in now and pick out a pair of men's boots and save 20% on all ladies' boots. Choose from over 10,000 pairs of dress and work boots for him and her. Boot City also stocks hundreds of pieces of quality Montana silversmith jewelry just right for Valentine's Day. Don't miss this sweetheart boot sale, where ladies' boots are 20% off with the purchase of any men's boots at Boot City, just 8 miles south of Terre Haute on U.S. Highway 41. Maybe you haven't heard about the Saturn Aura's five-star front and side crash test rating or its European-inspired ride and handling or its refined interior. But 49 automotive journalists have. And they named the 2007 Saturn Aura the North American Car of the Year. You're watching WFXW Prime Edition. Brought to you by Dave Cash Realtor. When buying or selling your home, remember experience means cash. Welcome back, everybody. Here's what we've got as far as the warnings. And again, I want to stress these end shortly. This is midnight Eastern Time or 11 Central Time. The southern tier of counties down here are under a winter weather advisory. Wasn't as bad to the south. Right along I-70 and then north into the northern counties north of that, which include Park and Vermilion over to Edgar County in Illinois. That's the winter storm warning. There was more ice, sleet, snow, and some drifting in these areas. And then where we had the full-blown blizzard was up along Interstate 74, Champaign to Danville towards about, well, up around Attica or towards Crawfordsville and places like that. By the way, I checked up in the uh, Purdue area of Lafayette, Indiana. They had 14.5 inches of snow and winds that gusted to 50 miles per hour. So it was really bad way up there. Still bad enough, though, around these areas. And again, as I mentioned, an all-out blizzard that developed in Illinois, and it is progressing off to the east and northeast and will be moving up into the New England area. By tomorrow, this is going to be a blizzard all the way from Maine, stretching through New York and into parts of Pennsylvania. So this has been the biggest winter storm nationwide we've had so far. We had a couple big ice storms, but they were mainly ice. This one not only has had ice, but has been also a blizzard across a good portion of the country in many states. Temperatures are cooling off. It's 19 Chicago down to 12 in Fort Wayne and 18 in Terre Haute. It's also 18 over in Bloomington, 16 up in Danville. So temperatures are generally running in the upper teens right now. And we're going to fall several more degrees, probably down to 10 to 12, maybe 13 in some of our southern counties. And this wind has been the issue. Not only is it blowing and drifting some of the areas that had the snow, it's driving the wind chills down. And notice even tomorrow we're looking at some 10 to 20 mile per hour winds. Let's up a bit as we head into Thursday. And eventually on Friday, it'll change around and come more from the south. That will be in advance of a little system due to move in here by the weekend. Here's the big storm. 24 hours ago at this time, we were showing it to you down here in Oklahoma. Tonight, the main area of low pressure now moving into eastern Kentucky, meaning the bulk of the precipitation finally starting to move out of our neck of the woods. Here it goes moving on. Behind it, we're left with these low clouds. And for the most part, most of the area now seeing the snow ending. There's a little bit left over in the northern and eastern portions of the viewing area. Just a little closer look. Here's the low going along here. And the little comma you see here is the backward spiral around that area of low pressure. And you'll see also within the last four hours, all this moving to the north. And again, we still have a little bit left. And some of you, especially to the north and to the northeast of the Terre Haute area, Still could get a little bit of an accumulation as this entire area moves through down to the south, really not too much down there. There was some light snow reported in some of the southern counties, but it was more of a cold rain down there along Highway 50. I want to show it to you live on the first financial storm tracker, Terre Haute North and off to the east. This is where we're seeing most of the snow. And again, any of this area from the state line down, say, to about Sullivan County, uh, maybe southern Owen County, you could still pick up maybe an additional inch of snow, but that's about it. And the rest of the area, very minor additional accumulation. So it's tapering off and it is moving out. I'll go back to the maps and show you what's going to happen with time. This storm moves away. We won't talk about that anymore. We'll talk about high pressure. And as the high pressure comes in, the airflow coming in from the north, meaning the north winds continue tomorrow. And also, it's going to bring some very cold air back down out of Canada, and temperatures could be down, or in some cases, down below zero as we head through the next couple of days. Not tonight, because of the wind and the clouds, but maybe beyond that, the next couple of nights as we head into Thursday and Friday. You'll see the cold air there. By the weekend, it does modify a little bit, and you'll notice the trend. We do finally, after all this cold weather, see a trend where it looks like we will see temperatures moderating closer to normal by the early portion of next week. So for tonight, snow ending. 
You saw that on the radar there. And again, anywhere from, a, say, northern Sullivan County north or east, and that northeastern quadrant could be an additional inch, but that'd be about it. 10, but wind chills to 10 below. Then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy, some snow flurries about 19, but the wind chill around zero. And then tomorrow night, we go down around zero for the temperature. Wind chills 10 to 15 below. And on Thursday, very cold day, 14 the high. Wind chills stay below zero pretty much all day. And after that, we moderate a little bit. And on Saturday, could be a bit of some uh, light snow. There might be some small accumulation with that, Dana. Actually, the highway department called today saying, you know, we're, we're worried about today, but right. we also hear there's snow on Saturday. It's not a big deal, but there could be some uh, little accumulation on Saturday. So once it stops doing whatever it's been doing outside, it's just going to get bone chilling cold. That's the big story. It's going to be the cold and the wind chills. It could be 10 to 15 below zero. So most schools not going tomorrow, probably delays on Thursday and Friday okay. uh, due to the wind chills. Yeah, just too cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Jess. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, Jason Pinsky is in to talk about a change in the college basketball schedule thanks to all this bad weather. And bad behavior has landed some NASCAR teams in hot water. We've got that story as well after this timeout. Now you can rev up your lifestyle in a Dodge Charger or Dodge Magnum. Get an available fuel-efficient 3.5-liter V6 or the legendary power of a heavy V8. Plus all-speed traction control and a five-star government frontal crash test rating. Now get $1,500 cash allowance on Dodge Charger RT. Charger, Magnum, two of America's hottest products. Open up a Magnum or unleash a Charger now at your Dodge dealer. Looking to save big bucks on a super comfortable mattress? Then you need to head for Denver Mattresses President's Day's Pay Nothing for Two Years Savings event, which means for a limited time only. Not only will you get name brand quality for up to 50% less, you won't need to shell out any presidents for two years. That's no payments and no interest until February 2009. Now's the time to roll into Denver Mattress. Our President's Day's Pay Nothing for Two Years finance offer ends soon. Sudden craving for steak? Then head to Golden Corral for our new Applewood Sirloin Filet. Tender, juicy sirloin wrapped in Applewood bacon, along with cheddar stuffed potatoes, steak fries, and a blue cheese lettuce wedge. Every night on the buffet, because you never know when the craving will hit. Golden Corral, everyone deserves a good meal. Hi, it's Kim of the Furniture Gallery, where everything's in stock and ready for delivery. All Tempur-Pedic and Simmons bedding sets are in stock and ready for delivery. All Bassett bedroom and living room groups and Brookline reclining furniture with the best warranty in the business are all in stock and ready for delivery. Up to 50% off on all remaining flex steel sofas, chairs, and love seats. Buy furniture today and take it with you or arrange for delivery only at the Furniture Gallery at South 7th and US 41, Terre Haute. You're watching WFXW. Local sports coverage is brought to you by Terre Haute Savings Bank. Believing in the Valley. Welcome back. Michael Andretti is coming back. Coming back to the Indy 500 to try one more time to take that elusive checkered flag. He says it would mean so much more to win this race as a driver compared to being the team owner. Andretti raced a fantastic race last year, leading late in the 500 before finishing third. It was the 15th time he has started the Indy 500, still looking for that first victory. Meantime, four Nextel Cup racing teams will have to try and win the Daytona 500 this weekend he was without also their season. crew chiefs as NASCAR suspended the crew chiefs for Matt Kenseth, Casey Kane, Scott Riggs, and Elliott Sadler. They also docked the team's points from the Nextel Cup standings. The penalties against Kenseth and Kane actually a little bit more severe. Their crew chiefs suspended for four races, all of this stemming from inspections following qualifying for this Sunday's Daytona 500. NASCAR is trying its best to put its foot down when it comes to cheating. Well, I think it's, uh, it, it, we don't need to go into it any more than this. It's obvious that we've ramped up our penalties and uh, we're going to get people's attention and 
you know, slow this down. I think if you look at what went on a year ago, and uh, we had a relatively clean summer, and uh, I believe we're trying to grab this thing by the horns as soon as possible this year. Of course, Jimmy Johnson won the Daytona last year while his crew chief was suspended, so it's not automatically the end of the line for those four drivers this week. Now to hoops, where the Boilers and Hoosiers will have an extra day to get ready for their in-state battle in West Lafayette. The IU-Purdue basketball game has been pushed back from tomorrow night to Thursday night up at Mackey Arena due to the bad weather in Indiana today. As of now, the ISU-Illinois State basketball game is still a go tomorrow night at the Holman Center. The interstate in Illinois has been closed all day today, so hopefully the Redbirds can still make it to Terre Haute in time for tomorrow's 7 p.m. contest. The Sycamores hosting Illinois State Wednesday and Miami of Ohio on Saturday, needing a pair of wins to move back over the 500 mark for the season. It's a very important week because we have, we have they're still, even though we're not like, we're not in the best shape right now, but there's still a chance that we can make a statement at the end of the conference schedule and just kind of build some momentum to go into the tournament. Yeah, I think it's it's real big. If we get these two wins, we'll get our, everyone's confidence up going into the tournament. So, so I think that's a, it's really a big it's a big big couple of games coming up for us. All right, Adam Arnold and Cole Holmstrom ready to go. Hopefully, weather will permit the Sycamores and Redbirds to play tomorrow night from the Holman Center. That's a wrap for the sports. The news continues after this timeout. For 30 straight years, we've been America's best-selling truck. But we won't celebrate with fireworks or party hats, because this is about you, not us. It's about giving you the truck you need, the truck that gets the job done. It's how we build them. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Ford Trucks. Built. Ford Tough. Now get an F-150 Super Cab 4x4 for just $249 a month for 36 months. See your local Ford dealer today. The internet offers wonderful connections, but who's connecting to you? Your personal information could be an easy target for hackers and thieves, but you can protect yourself. Stop and think before you click and visit staysafeonline.org for ways to keep your information in your hands. Young adults, 16 to 21, are you wanting to complete your education or find a job? Western Indiana Employment and Training Services can help you complete your goals. Through the youth program, I learned how to fill out an application, I learned how to do a job interview, and I learned how to work good with others. I would suggest WIVES for anybody who wants a job so that they can learn why it's important to be productive. Western Indiana Employment and Training Services. Call now, toll free, one. 877 move ahead for well over 100 years people have turned to qualified chiropractic care physicians for safe and effective treatment but why chiropractic whether it was a small accident tension on the job or overdoing it on the weekend many people turn to dr john hancock for safe proven and effective chiropractic treatment and an improved quality of life and chiropractic is safe for the entire family if you're suffering throughout the day and night call dr john hancock dr hancock can help you by providing relief stabilizing health and helping coach you through a a lifetime of optimal health. Well, romance is in the air for people and canines on this Valentine's Eve. Pet owners in Hong Kong held wedding ceremonies for their pets today. Now, they say they just wanted their pets to tie the knot on the eve of Valentine's Day. The nine doggy brides and grooms paraded down the red carpet to exchange their vows. Owners had to take the oaths on behalf of their pets. The dogs exchanged collars, not rings, and signed the marriage certificate with a paw print. Now, see, that's a cutie. Right. They all look pretty happy that's to be right. there, didn't they? But some of them are real dogs. And then, <laughs> ruff, so what happened? You get an ugly one. Well, I was wondering about the first couple. Did <laughs> they, you see that? Yeah, they weren't so. I didn't know if that was a good match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they seemed happy. So, anyway, this weather, not so good no. outside. You know, we're talking cold weather tonight. The snow is ending. Some of you, though, say from northern Sullivan County north along the state line or from northern Sullivan County east, could still see maybe an additional inch because we still have some snow moving off to the northeast. 10 degrees tonight, wind chills will be below zero and there's going to be some blowing and drifting of that snow in the outlying areas, so watch that. Then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy, some snow flurries, a high of 19, but wind chills could drop to near zero at times. Then for tomorrow night, still mostly cloudy, quite cold tomorrow night. We could be down near zero. Wind chills will be below zero by about 10 to 15 degrees.
degrees. And then on Thursday, simply put, it's just going to be cold. 14 for the high. Wind chills again below zero for a good portion of the day. It does moderate a little bit after that on Friday, and then a little clipper system comes in Saturday. I don't see this as a big deal, but maybe a little bit of light additional snow on Saturday. And then after that, hey, 34, two days in a row. We Whoa. have not seen that in a long time. The trend does look like next week could warm up a little bit, maybe mm -hmm. for a few days. A welcome change. Uh, bring it on. I, I'm ready. I think everybody's ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Good job, by Thank the way. You. You've been here. It's been a long day oh. and night. <laughs> Dude, he's been here like 40 hours. <laughs> we hope you have a great evening and do be careful out there.